In the rainforest, time moves at the pace of a shifting shadow to the rhythm of the morning mist, moving as fast as a waterfall and as slow as the seasons. Moments stand still in time encapsulated by the rainforest. We live in the subtropics in an ancient volcano caldera and here Time moves differently. Summers practically last all year round, with the volcanic soils nurturing constantly fruiting trees. As our short winter ends, summer begins, the frog's chorus starts, the black cockatoos return with the rain, bright green growth soaks through the rainforest, the waterfalls rush and the mist returns. The eternal summers bring endless beauty. In our life on the rainforest farm, we have learnt to not follow a clock or a calendar, but at Twinstead, live by the seasons. The cliff faces act as our clock, the shadows shift with the day. The mountains are a sundial, and the garden is our calendar. You can tell the seasons by touch, smell, sight, and sound. Our rituals are dictated with the rhythms of the earth, the shifts in the weather, the ripening fruit, the seasonal changes, and the unpredictable. We spend each day doing similar things, moving the sheep to a new paddock, letting the animals out from their night pens, watching the sunset, or gardening. In these rhythms, there is a beautiful monotony, each day being so similar means that we can notice the most subtle changes, like the blossoming of red cedar trees or just the way that the light hits differently. Being here every day means that the animals trust us and that we can understand their communication. I think that in doing this routine again and again and again, it just makes it more beautiful. Each time, something subtle makes me smile, like the changing light that now highlights a tree fern, or when Paisley learns to bounce for the first time. I think that the monotony of routine can be a beautiful thing. It is this repetition that brings a sense of normalcy, but the repetition also lets you see the extraordinary. It lets you realize that nothing about this life is normal. It lets you realize that just the chance of existing on this earth is a miracle. In this repetition and routine, the harmonic monotony lets us think about the concept of time. Walking the same walk each day and seeing the subtle changes in the season has made us realize that the present moment is the only moment that is real. The past is now just stories in our mind, interpretations that are masked in our biases. The future does not exist yet. Right now, it is not real. The only thing that is real is this moment, right now. Time is fabricated in our minds, so it doesn't serve us to dwell too much on things or to think too far forward. But if we live each second, each moment of our lives, aware of our present moment, we can serve the people in the past and in the future. This week, Sweet Magnolia gave birth to a son. His big bright eyes watch the world with wonder as he sees everything for the first time. Magnolia was a fragile baby when she first came to the farm. Her mum didn't have enough milk for her, so she had to learn to look after herself. And when she came, she immediately trusted us and let us look after her. She grew big and strong, and now she has a baby of her own. 
In her son's softness and trust, we can see so much of baby Magnolia not too many years ago. It really puts everything into perspective, playing with a goat who is younger than a flower in the garden, discovering everything for the first time. I don't know about you, but when I think back to my childhood, things seem to move more slowly, at a sort of pace I can't even recognise now. I guess I was never aware of time itself. I moved from one thing to the next, learning, exploring, and watching everything with awe as I saw it for the first time. I was reading about this and how it has been proven that your childhood does move at a different pace. Because you are constantly learning so many new things as a kid, your brain slows down the world to comprehend everything. When I heard this, it made me think about my current life, and how sometimes, in the constant, unchanging flow of things, time can just move so fast. It made me realise a few things. It made me realise that I should learn from myself as a child and still look at the world with awe and wonder because these things that I may have seen a thousand times are exceptional, extraordinary, and magical in their own way. It made me realise that I should be a bit more spontaneous sometimes, that I should see new things, learn a lesson, and expand myself. But I think that the most important thing that it made me realise is that the unexpected and sometimes awful things that happen in life do have a silver lining. They break the monotony, teach us new things, and in this, I guess that they slow down time. This is such a beautiful way to end a pretty hard day. Maggie's little boy hasn't been suckling, so we'll be really worried about him because if he doesn't get the first milk, it's not good for him or her. But right at the end, Julia's been trying to teach him how to suckle all day, and then right at the end, he learnt how and did it all on his own. Oh, the frogs at this time of year, they've just come out, and it's so beautiful. We have all of mom's chickens here for a play because they want some outside time scratching and stuff. So they're gonna play while we garden. Moving with the seasons has let me reevaluate my relationship with time. I'm learning to measure time at my own pace, like the time that a seedling takes to sprout or the moon takes to return. The garden teaches us this the most. A seedling sprouts to the balance of sun and water. The plants grow to the moon cycles. The lady beetle spends its afternoon pollinating the plants. The garden teaches me that I don't need to live to the rhythm of anyone else but myself. The ebb and flow of the sap in plants are in tune with the rhythms of the moon. In a waxing moon, when the light is increasing towards a full moon, the sap flow is drawn up through the plant. This means that planting is best at this time of year. The banana farmers always say that bananas ripen on the full moon.
This rainforest has stood here for millions of years. It has witnessed so much time pass. It has only been in the last 200 years that it has witnessed the devastating effects of colonization on this land. We live on the land of the Arakwal and Minjimbo people of the Banjalan Nation. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the country that we live on and recognize their continuing connection to the land and waters. We thank them for protecting this rainforest and its ecosystem since time immemorial. This is a native bunya pine tree. They are a species of tree local to this area and they have existed for over a hundred million years. Each tree can live for 600 years, watching so much history go by. It makes me realize that our life on this earth is such a small fraction of time, that we are so small and insignificant in the vastness of the world. But then I see a butterfly and I think of its small life spent pollinating flowers, of the meaning, the joy and the beauty that it spreads in its few days on this earth. And suddenly my time on this earth feels like it can be filled with magnitude. Sixty years ago, our grandparents planted these orchards, and then thirty years ago, our parents planted more. So many years on, the fruit trees provide us with nourishment, and this act of planting has spread so much meaning. These trees always inspire us. They make us realize how meaningful our impact on this earth can be. How it isn't just the grand things that live on, but small, purposeful things like planting a tree or spreading kindness. Small gestures can make a ripple through time. The trees teach us that it is now our turn to care for this land, and that we can learn from the past and pass it on to the future. We all hold a seed to future generations. In us are the remnants of the past and a seed for the future. So if we can plant trees, physical or metaphorical, we can create a better future for our children, their children and the future generations. If we can nurture ourselves and others, learn skills and lessons, these will be the things that one day we pass on. The trees that we plant and the ideas that we nurture, the skills that we practice and the lessons that we pass on.
this is artichoke and she's smaller than everyone else. She hatched last. Are you catching up? Just kids I love I never know. I was so busy dreaming. When I looked up, I had no I'd have to plant the mound a bit further away from the fence next time. We're making this community garden as a way to connect with the community and all work towards the same goals of growing our own food and caring for the land. It feels special, us, the third generation, coming together and caring for the land. We eat the fruit planted by our grandparents and it gives us nourishment to work for the future generations. This is a cover crop that our neighbour planted in the community garden and it started to flower so it's time to cut it back now to give it nutrients into the soil. Probably should have done it before the flower but none of us got around to it. They're so pretty though, I feel sad to cut them down. This is Elle, our brother's partner, and together we're learning how to use the hedge trimmer. I think it's a mix of, I don't know what type of peas these are, but there's lupin in here and a few other things. It's so pretty. After we cut the cover crop, the nutrients are released back into the soil and the dead plants act as mulch and suppresses the weeds. This task is pretty overwhelming on your own, but with the help of everyone, we can split the workload and have so much fun as we do it. I guess that life is a collection of moments. The small joys like jumping into the cool water with your friend, or the bigger miracles like a baby goat suckling properly for the first time after hours of teaching him how. It's the big things like the rainforest stretching across the land, or the small things like the animals that inhabit it. It's the morning mist and the moonlight, the sun beaming through the forest. It's the new life, the repetition and monotony, the unexpected and the moving. Time itself is not real, but our moments are. And if they can be filled with purpose and joy, then we can transcend time. The music in this video is by Melissa Lingo, who writes her poetic songs to the seasons, inspired by the constant cycles of nature. Thanks to our patrons, we are so grateful for your support on our tree planting journey and caring for the land and animals.